But yeah, it's going to be Climax versus Terra. Going to be Guile all pimped out in yellow. Going up against Bison in just his swag. Normal default colors. Alright, so so far looking good for Climax. He's got to fight a different breed of Bison right now. Because he's up against Venom of Tuesday and he lost 3-1. But let's see if he can take anything, take any knowledge and take, reflect on what happened against Venom of Tuesday and apply it to this matchup really quickly. Because if uh, if Terra wins this, uh, the names need to be swapped around, by the way, gents. Yeah, if Terra wins this, then the adaptability skills that he has is really good because it's one Bison from the next. And that's the thing. This is going to happen in tournament as well. You could be knocked out twice by the same character. I've seen people that have been knocked out by Mika's twice, by Loris twice, by Kami's twice, by Chun Li's twice. It's not good. It's not good. And it always boils down to the playstyle. That's what you're fighting when you're going up against uh, certain mirror matches or certain characters. Sorry, not mirror matches. McDonald's Color Guile. <laughs> That's actually a good one. That's actually a good one. All right. So Terra doing that uh, crouching walk there with Guile. I haven't seen many people use that, but then again, I haven't really found the use for it. Well, I haven't seen much use of it. All right. Oh, what a crush counter there from Climax. Going to get some big damage here. Trying to go for the stun. Good tech there from Terra. And that stun is slowly depleting. And it's all gone now. You might as well give it up. It's gone. It's dead and gone. Let it go. <laughs> all right. Pressure with the EX scissors. But good view reversal. One of the areas to view reversal is against plus. Uh, moves that plus on block. It's really good to do that. If you don't want to deal with the, the pressure afterwards, view reversal it. So I think uh, EX scissors is plus one on block. I think so. Alright, oh no, didn't get the confirm. I think he's done light sonic boom. If he'd done medium, that would have won in the round. The reversal again, this could be it. And it was a trade in Terra's favor. And he wins that round. It's gonna go to the final round of game final one. I have so much trouble fighting Bison as Guile. Um well look, in SF4, it was very hard for Bison to approach and deal with that matchup, but in this game it's a lot easier for Bison to kinda handle it. But it's probably because you're allowing Bison to come in too easily. That, that's the rudimentary side of it anyway. Oh, good crashing fierce. All right, forward throw, send into the corner. All right, the pressure's on. Try to go for the back hard punch there. And no confirm from Climax. Drop the combo. Didn't believe it was going to hit. All right, now I'm seeing more projectiles on screen. I like it. Sonic crosses, Sonic booms, EX Sonic booms. I'm liking it. All right, here we go. Laying it down, not putting, not putting the Sonic Boom behind it to turn it into a two-hitting projector. Good tech again. And we find ourselves in the corner. Bait on the flash kick. Big damage here. Spend the meter. Oh, he should have spent it. Should have spent it. Now, you might lose the round because of this. Hey, Terra, win the game. He didn't spend his meter. Win the game. You win the game. Throw him. Throw him. Well, oh, god damn it. Oh, there we go. No. All right. So it's looking. It can go either way for either player. There you go. Crash medium kick. Gets the win. And again, what happened? Because Climax didn't spend his meter, he lost the game. And I as far as I'm aware, supers do not scale below 50%. So I reckon that combo he would have landed at the crush counter would have killed Guile. But he was too stubborn and obstinate to spend his meter, and therefore you lose the game. Shoutouts to players capitalizing on people who do not spend their meter. Because the thing is, what you do is you kind of reinvigorate hope for the opponent when you don't spend your meter on critical art. Because unless you are 100% confident and egotistical that you are just going to finish your opponent without critical art, then you're the best on the planet. But other than that, spend the meter, man. Spend the cash. You paid, you paid £50 plus for this game. I'm pretty sure you can spend three bars of meter to dead your opponent. <laughs> All right. Good crouch hard punch. The forward hard punch again. I'm liking the buttons and the tools he's using to keep Climax out. But we find ourselves in the corner once again. And there's the stun. All right, good. Confirm there. I love that Sonic Boom is plus eight on hit because you can just see that stand hard punch and hear the sound effects. Hit it. It's good. And his corner loop combos are the best. So. All right, pressure's on again. Wow. I don't know what that Devil's Reverse hit, but it hit something. Probably a crouching fist. Wow. I'm seeing a lot of jumps here. I'm trying to bait throws and trying to jump in clean. Not so much of a ground game between these two, but hey, if these guys are not going to anti air each other, then you know what? Jump around like nuts. Jump around as liberally as you want. 
All right. We confirm into the back. Uh, oh, sorry, the forward hard punch. The back fist. Wow. Oh, I like that. All right, pressure's on. No anti-air from Terra again. And then he can dash up and get something here. Oh, yeah, he was too far. He looked too far to get the full confirmation from that. But kudos for the attempt. And he tried to go for a flash again. Spend your meter this time round. Thank you very much. Damn. Final round. Uh, some characters don't even need their EX moves or CA because of zero invincibility on EX moves and CA. Um, I actually don't understand that. Uh, Jafferoff. Uh, Je Genesis. <laughs> nah, you'll damage. That was a clean combo. Climax needed to win that round there. Alright. So it's back to neutral. Cool, come and collect it from Climax at the moment. But I feel he's comfortable when the game starts. But as soon as Terra throws out a Sonic Boom and chases him down, he starts to panic and do moves in trepidation. He's not so confident in his defense. Alright, there you go for another Psycho Axe with malicious intent. Gets the crush counter he deserves, though. And flash kick again. I feel he should throw out. He needs to do more stand hard kicks. It's like, I feel when he's in uh, Terra's face climax. I know he pressed all the light buttons, he tries to get a safe string going, but it's down roundhouse, man. It's a good button. It works online. You're online. Come on. <laughs> all right, good flash kick again. And the outside down kick gets the counter hit confirm as well. Chase him down to the corner. Oh my god, these upside down kicks. What are you doing? Okay, backs off. He's in V-Trigger as well, so he needs to be careful with expending or whiffing moves because that would deplete his V-Meter, so. Why don't more Bison players treat their V-Skill like Ryu's parry? No it's way. almost exactly the same thing. Uh, I can't really answer that question, but in a sense, yes, it absorbs hits and then you can say, send it back. But the thing is, Ryu parries and then he can get a combo. Uh, Bison, it's like he absorbs it and he, if you hold it, it sends it back as a projectile. And I'd say Bison's V skill is probably more useful against projectile characters, whereas Ryu's you can use it on just about anything. That's just me giving a very like vague and uh, on the spot answer. That's probably not the definitive answer. So, all right, trying to go for these forward hard punches there, but it's just whiffing and it's hitting hot air at the moment. But it gets the upside down kick once again. Climax should block a little bit more. Block and mirror reversal. You can do that. The move's active enough for it to get hit by a reversal. Then generate some space. There's a crush counter, hard kick. Finally throwing it out with malicious intent. I like it. Forward throw again. So these two just go back and forth. It is a slugfest between these two characters. And somehow, one of them always finds itself in the corner getting pressured by a heavy button. And there's the back throw there from Climax. Trying to bring himself back into this set here. Round two. Oh, you can combo after V-Skill? Okay, that must mean you have to just press it once. Uh, I'd have to ask Tyrant or um, another Bison player. Because I, I I don't really see Bisons use it to combo often. They just use the... They absorb a hit and then send it back. So, Oh, made the Flash Kick Whiff. I like that. I think that is a safe jump for uh, Bison. Against Gal, anyway. Try to get a jump in again. Seen a lot more V-Reversals from these two. It's really good. Alright, good block. The jumping hard kick. Good confirm into flash kick there. He might go for the outside down kick again. No, he didn't. Try to go for an empty jump low. Try to do the ISDD. Didn't work out for him. Oh, that's it. V trigger activation. Not yet. Again, why didn't he spend the meter? But he won the game. I'll keep my mouth shut. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's uh it's kind of scary when it's like you have the opportunity. It's like, look, you've earned the meter, you build it up throughout the entire round. And you're going up against a strong player, the same rank as you. And it's like, look, if you give certain players a chance to come back, they will come back. And then you'll be walking off to the kitchen, making some food. And you probably drop a plate on the, ta on the floor thinking, well, I, I dropped my plate like I dropped my combo. Well, maybe I should finish my combo next time, you know? All right, good tech there. So it's 2-1 to Terra in this loser's final. Whoever wins this will be going up against Venom Tuesday in the grand final. So... Probably Venom of Tuesday is watching this set meticulously, taking notes. Uh, he only spends me on Wake Up CA. Thank you, Risk Breakers. Oh, 
Oh, well, there we go. And that was nice. That was a nice, comfortable round there from Terra. Alright, so we're looking at potential match point for Terra here. He's been playing really well this, today, so... I'll get Tech again. I really want Climax to win this game and take it to the final game, to be honest. But I think he's found it hard in certain areas on this matchup specifically. And he's trying to stagger those standing jabs, Terra. But with that, you slowly push the opponent out of your range with your next jab, so... Alright, there we go. Use the V skill to throw the projectile back. I like it. Oh, there we go. Hits the Devil's Reverse. Try to go for a jumping hard punch there, but gets flash kicked. Getting good confirm from Terra. Tried to bait a throw, but I think he done it a little bit too late the jump. This can be big damage. Get the damage. There you go. I love that combo. Because it's like the, the, the stomp emphasizes like, yeah, you're dead. Sit down. It's my round. Oh, good flash there. He waited after the hit. He was fully committed to taking that hit, but he was ready for the follow-up there. So good stuff there from Terra. Looking good. All right. Pressure's on. Oh, big damage coming through and the knockdown. Good trade as well. Paid off in Climax's favor. Whoa, okay. Whoa. <laughs> With throw the flash kick. I don't know, I was watching that with such intensity, I didn't say anything, and then a flash kick just came out of nowhere. Like a bullet. Why right, he waited again and he hits the lot of frames of the flash kick anyway. Shout out to the hitbox on that. Oh no, that's gonna be Ooh, he could have air reset in there with the uh forward light kick, I think. Oh that's it. Damn, that was really good. 